वी हैव मेड अ सोलर ट्रैकर सिस्टम सो सोलर ट्रैकर सिस्टम इज यूज टू ट्रैक द सनलाइट बाय सिस्टम वेन एवर वी यूज एनी सोलर पैनल सो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द पैनल टू बी एक्सपोज टू द मैक्सिमम सनलाइट फॉर दैट सोलर ट्रैकर कैन बी यूज एंड हियर वी हैव अ बंच ऑफ पैरामीटर्स थ्रू विच वी कैन कंट्रोल दिस so tracker so we have uh, the time uh, which is a clock and we have the start time which can be set as the sunrise and uh, the stop time which can be set as the sunset time and uh, an angle that ha- that has to be set so whichever angle that we set here using these keys uh, using these switches so whichever angle we set here uh, we have programmed the kit in such a way that in every 5 minutes of interval this particular angle will be covered uh, by this tracker and it will repeat uh, for every 5 intervals uh, till the stop time is uh, complete uh, till the uh, clock is equal to the stop time so this is how the kit works uh, you can order this kit from our site kitscrew.com where you'll get two versions of the kit one is where you'll get a complete ready made kit and the other one is where you'll get a complete knockdown kit and with the help of our video tutorials you'll be able to complete the kit by yourself in this section of the video we'll see what all components are used in this kit how to assemble those components on the pcb and we'll understand how this kit works and then we'll uh, understand how to check the power supplies so first we'll understand how this kit works as you can see first we have we have given a power supply through a, through an ad- adapter so this is the power jack this is the on off switch which controls the power to the entire unit a bridge rectifier is used in case you're giving a power supply through a transformer so bridge rectifier converts the ac power supply to dc and uh, but this produces pulsating dc so we need to convert that into smooth dc for that we have used this electrolytic capacitor and then uh, voltage regulator ic is used because most of the components on this kit uh, kit works on 5 volts so we need to convert the power supply into 5 volts uh, constant power supply and then we have a 28 pin microcontroller here which controls uh, the entire uh, kit uh, this is the uh, computer of the main kit and we have another uh, ic which is the clock ic so clock timer ic so this runs the clock here as you can see so uh, the input from the clock is then set to the sent to the microcontroller and then uh, the microcontroller receives it and then uh, accordingly sends the output to the uh, step in the motor this is the motor this is the data pin of the motor this is the power supply for the motor now uh, this is a micro switch which is used to reset the microcontroller there are two leds which are used one is the power indicator led as you can see the other one is the uh, pulse led the clock pulse led and then a number of micro switches are used these are for the input uh, to this microcontroller uh, a potentiometer is used uh, to uh, adjust the display settings of the lcd screen here and uh, now i'll tell you how to uh, operate or how to set the input data so first you have to uh, press this the first button for a long time so you'll uh, come to the setting mode if you press it for one time you'll get this current then start then stop and then uh, deflection angle so there are four parameters that we can control current start stop and de- uh, deflection angle so once you reach the current time uh, this is the, s- the second button from the bottom is for the r and then is the minute and then this is set this particular uh, the last switch confirms the settings so first the second button controls the r and the third button controls the minutes so this is to set the current time so in case you need to uh, set the current time as 3 hours and 2 minutes or 3 hours and 5 minutes so this is how you have to do it and then you have to press the last button so as you can see the time is set to 3 hours 5 minutes and accordingly you have to set the start and stop time also if you have to change the angle now the angle is changed in such a way that you have to calculate uh, how much what is the total angle that you require uh, in the particular uh, in the total duration and then uh, you need to uh, set the or you need to calculate the angle yourself as to how much do you want the particular needle or the tracker to move in uh, the period of 5 minutes so if you need if you suppose need to uh, move the uh, tracker by 90 minutes in one hour so it means that uh, every 5 minutes it will move 90 divided by 12 that is uh, almost 7.5 so so this is how you need to ch- set the uh, angle so for uh, changing the angle you have to first go to the uh, deflection angle and then change the angle so the f- second button increases and the f- third button reduces the degrees and then you have to set it 
so now we'll understand how to assemble the components so this is the blank pcb this is the main pcb this is the top part of the pcb this is the bottom part the top part is where we insert the components the bottom part is where we uh, solder all the components where the copper tracks are present the technology that we use is called a through hole technology in which we drill holes throughout the pcb from the top and then solder the components in the bottom so for reference purpose i'll keep this line uh, in line with the uh, ready made pcb so that we can understand the orientation alignment alignment of each and every component starting off with the power supply we have this power jack here and then an on off switch does not have any polarity and then a uh, bridge rectifier as said earlier now it has four terminals uh, two ac input and two dc output terminals so the positive terminal of the dc has to be present on the top left side as you can see here the top left side and uh, this is a crystal uh, this is an electrolytic capacitor so it has two terminals the stem which is longer in the length is a positive terminal in case both the stems are of equal length the there is a strip on the capacitor which indicates that that is a negative terminal so while inserting we have to ensure that the positive terminal of the capacitor is in line with the positive terminal of the bridge rectifier so this is how it is done and then we have to insert a voltage regulator ic so this is the voltage regulator IC7805. So the pin on the left side is the input, then ground, and then third stem on the right is the output, 5 volts. So while inserting, we have to ensure that we are facing the front part of the voltage regulator IC. Then uh, a LED is used. Uh, this is a power indicator LED. The LED has the polarity. Stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal. In case both the stems are of equal length, the LED bulb gets flat on the negative end. So while inserting, we have to ensure that the negative end is away from us. And uh, along with the LED, we have to insert a resistor of uh, 1K with color code brown, black and red in order to protect the LED. So this completes the section of the power supply. Then we'll insert this base of the microcontroller. So this is uh, a 28 pin microcontroller. The As you can see, there's a notch here on one side. So the pin which is on the left side of the notch is a pin number 1. And then uh, counting counterclockwise, pin on the right side of the notch is a pin number 28. So that is how you need to count the number of pins. Uh, so while inserting, we have to insert the base first so that we can protect the IC uh, during soldering process or in case we need to replace the IC in the future, we can do that. So while inserting the base, we have to ensure that the notch is on the left side here. And then on top of that, we'll insert the IC. Uh, this IC runs on a clock frequency. So for that, we have to insert a crystal oscillator of 16 megahertz and two uh, 33 picofarad uh, capacitors each in parallel and then a micro switch is used in order to reset the uh, IC or microcontroller and this has to be pulled up for that we use a resistor of uh, 10k with color code brown black and orange And then uh, the clock timer IC, uh, this is this has a notch on the top side, so we have to insert the base in such a way that the notch is on the top side. And then uh, this works on a, the this also works on a clock frequency. For that, we have to insert this uh, crystal oscillator of uh, 32 kilohertz. Along with that, uh, the two capacitors in parallel of 33 picofarad, and then. Uh, a micro uh, 0.1 microfarad IC, IC uh, capacitor is used here and then another resistor of 1k two resistors of 1k as you can see one here and one here and another LED is used uh, which is a signal indicator LED so in this also the positive end is towards us the negative end is away from us and then a uh, resistor of uh, 1k with color code brown black and red And then uh, we have to insert a couple of connector bases for uh, taking, giving the input and taking the output from the microcontroller. And a potentiometer is used uh, to control the display settings of the LCD screen. And uh, the micro switches here to give the input to the microcontroller is uh, placed here. 
you'll also see a bunch of metallic wires these are called jumper wires when the when the connection is not possible from the bottom side we use jumper wires that is metallic wires to create connections from the top side before inserting the lcd screen first we have to insert this male birth strip now this is a, a 16 pin male birth strip so we can use it in two parts So this you have to insert the male birth strip and then you have to take the female part. This is the female part and it has to be mounted on the uh, LCD screen and then uh, soldered. And then the entire assembly has to be mounted on the LCD uh, on the connector base. So this is how you need to uh, assemble all the components. So then we'll check the power supply. So first uh, we use a digital multimeter to check the power supply. The black terminal is a common terminal which has to be inserted uh, attached to the body of the voltage regulator IC. The first pin of the IC should show the input power supply. The third pin should show the output 5 volt supply. The first pin of the microcontroller should show 5 volts. The eighth pin of the clock timer IC should show 5 volts. And this is the data pin and these are the input uh, powers power input to the motor. The second and the second last pin of the LCD screen should show 5 volts. So this is how you need to check the power supply and once you've finished checking the power supply you can connect the IC and the LCD screen and finish your kit. You can order this kit from our kit website kitscrew.com where you'll get two versions of the kit. One is where you'll get the complete ready-made kit and the other one is where you'll get a self-assembly kit and with the help of our video tutorials, you'll be able to complete the kit by yourself.